cream, white room, and the hits just keep on coming. How's it going guys? Today I'm just going to be going over everything I'm carrying in my lightweight rucksack. This is primarily for 69 all the way up until 72. A few of these things could be interchangeable, you know, 68, 67, but primarily this is a late war setup. So first thing I'm going to start off with is my ammo can and then I'll kind of just make my way through the other things. So these are all the items that I carry in my ammo can. First thing is the map. Here are some letters. There's a camera with a couple of the flashes. Sam 16 uh, maintenance magazine. Here is a calendar. This is actually based off of a original drawing. I just kind of copied it, but pretty much the calendar is in the helmet. There's some personal photos, some sunglasses in a case, writing paper, and a pen. So this is just kind of everything in that carry. Most of the stuff, as you can see, is just made out of paper or just kind of fragile. The ammo can is naturally has a water seal, so it kind of just keeps your stuff waterproof. And it just kind of keeps your stuff from ripping and whatnot. But yeah, that's pretty much what I carry in my ammo can. So there's everything packed in. See, there's still a little bit more room for other stuff, but that's practically just everything packed. Here is what I carry in my first pocket, so you know, uh, that one right there. Uh, just two heating tablets. These are just the modern MRE kind of related ones. However, I have seen one that was dated 1970, so I guess these are semi period correct. Here is just toilet paper and a Chuhoi bag. Here are some actual period correct tablets. Uh, there is one in here, but I don't plan on really using it because who knows what kind of chemicals they used in them back then. Here is um, just a sock for easy access, I suppose, and then just some tent spikes. Practically, this is just what's carried in the first pocket. It's pretty much everything I carry in my middle pocket. I have a um, just an extra brush. I have 16 cleaning kit, um, a bottle that came with a cleaning kit, rifle board cleaner. I think it's dated 69, um, LSA, some matches in this uh, container, some sunburn, preventive cream, uh, electrical tape slash I guess semi-period booking tape, just a rag made from a t-shirt. Uh, this brush is used just to clean my uniform and uh, I guess clean my boots. Here is some Claymore wire, semi, uh, semi um, multi-purpose, but pretty much this is just what I carry in my uh, middle pocket. So this is a little bit of a mix between the right pocket material and ruck material. I'm just going to start off with the pocket material, so pretty much I carry around maybe five or so C-Rack cans inside. Um, alongside the spoon, inside the ruck I carry my long range reconnaissance. Uh, rations. I have about four. Maybe you guys can carry five, but um, I just kind of only have room for four. I have my mess kit. Now, a lot of people say it's pretty far by using the uh, mess kit. However, it's a very convenient way to cook your MREs, which are pretty much inside these long range reconnaissance. And honestly, guys back then would ditch them because one, they made a lot of noise, two, they would just use the C wrap boxes as plates. So that's something you can't really do in the reenacting world, um, but I do use a mess kit because it's far more convenient. Right here I have my uh, demolition charge. Now I'm pretty sure you guys are wondering, you know, why do I have that in this little grouping? Um, pretty much guys would use a little bit of the uh, C4 from it and uh, put, put that inside the uh, C rat stove and just kind of use that for cooking and whatnot. But primarily that's just the reason why you guys use them um, other than I guess exploding shit. But yeah, this is pretty much the, uh, I guess, far right pocket alongside a few other things. I'm going to go ahead and get started with the uh, rock material. So here's a couple things that I carry inside my rock. First thing is going to be the Crown Royale uh, Diddy bag. Now these were really cheap at the Chulai PX and pretty much if you guys are doing a 3rd Marines impression alongside with an Army impression for 1970, 72, um, you guys can use these. But guys are just going to carry the personal items because they thought they looked cool. So. I have my radio, real hippie looking uh, bandana, pocket, pocket uh, knife alongside with the bottle cap opener. I have my uh, coffee tin here. A lot of guys would, um, whenever they would get things from home and stuff, you know, when their families would mail them to them, 
uh, they would actually mail in a coffee can and just put in certain items. So right now I just kind of have uh, candy, kind of carry my cigarettes and uh, my Kool-Aid in there. It's just real fragile items and I also believe this also is waterproof. But yeah, this is an actual period can and uh, it's really cool. So I have two pairs of socks right here. Um, all this stuff is carried in my personal effects bag, just kind of throwing that out there. I have a toothbrush in its case, shaving kit, mirror, some reading material, uh, a couple of Chihoy bags. I have some Brill cream alongside with toothpaste, uh, just random personal items, bandana, necklace, accessory pack, and some cigarettes in a Chihoy bag. So that's all my personal items or personal effects items. Uh, this is the only real bit of clothing that I have is is these boxers, I have three pairs, a uh, sleeping shirt, bandana, just an extra one, and a towel. And the reason for that is pretty much guys wouldn't carry extra pairs of pants. Um, guys didn't even carry extra pairs of underwear. Um, it's just kind of a reenacting thing to carry underwear. Um, guys did carry underwear in the like, early war, but pretty much guys didn't wear underwear, they just kind of went commando. But um, you know, I'm obviously not gonna do that, I'm just gonna wear you know, boxers and whatnot, but that's pretty much what they would carry. And um, that's practically all my uh, rucksack material items. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Expect a uh, up and coming impression video for the first cavalry. I did a couple of updates, so hopefully you guys find that entertaining. And uh, you know, I'll see you around.